All right, we are on to our next assignment. This is going to be a fun uh, drawing. This is one of my favorite drawing assignments and coloring assignments. Um, some uh, age groups will be painting, some age groups will be uh, just coloring with different materials. Um, let's go ahead and see uh, how you enjoy this one. This is going to be an old video game. Um, first, we're going to start from the top. Um, we're going to turn our paper uh, vertically or portrait style. We're going to draw landscape style, but I'm going to show you that drawing a line from top to bottom is going to be a lot easier to do and get a straighter line than drawing it from left to right because then we get all bumpy and lumpy. That's not what we want for this one. Um, our video game has a very straight line, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> okay, so once you're done with that, we're going to do some very basic shapes to kind of formulate the uh, the drawing and go from there. We're gonna draw a um, small, almost looks like Patrick's house from SpongeBob. A small uh, lowercase n. And then we're going to draw another lowercase n, but a very tall one. Okay, we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna go to the side of it. Okay, we'll draw one like this. Done, okay. These don't have to be perfect. Mine's a little curved on the top. Um, it's pretty straight on this side and a little curved um, on this side. They don't have to be perfect, guys. This is uh, just to, for fun. We're practicing, we're learning, okay? We're not looking for perfection. We are looking for your best. And that is um, what matters is trying your hardest and enjoying yourself while we're uh, learning how to uh, make some pretty cool pictures. Okay, so we have our third shape is like an upside down um, J. We're going to go over to the side on the far right side, and we're going to draw some very similar shapes, just a little bit different than what we have done in the past. Um, so we're going to go and draw another one like that. We're not going to do a little one like this. We're going to draw a long one like this, and we're only going to do another one, but this one's going to be a lot taller than this one. Okay, so that one ends a little higher than that. This one is going to be pretty big. Again, it does not have to be perfect. Don't let it go off the paper. If it does, it is okay. Um, I like to keep it on the paper because I don't want to cut anything off. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a little rectangle floating in the sky. I'm going to show you why. If you draw a little rectangle like that floating in the sky, you are going to draw two lines, parallel lines that do not intersect with each other, but they intersect with that little line there, uh, the little uh, rectangle and the bottom floor. And that's gonna create your tunnel. And your tunnel is going to be for this little C-shape thing in the sky. So go ahead and draw your C-shape. It's gonna be open up towards the top. If you need to tilt your paper and draw a C uh, like this, that's completely fine. Do it, whatever makes your paper a little bit more crisp and clean that's what we want okay we're going to draw a little u-shape um, or open c it's not too closed like that and in there we're going to draw these little lumps and those lumps are going to be like teeth okay inside that shape we're going to go ahead and draw some little circles they might be on the edges they might uh, not be on the edges they might be a little larger, might be a little smaller. Um, but as long as we have some circles there, and I'll show you why um, later. Okay, so once we're done with that, we're going to draw this kind of like S shape thing. It's gonna come like this and another one. Try to keep it as even as possible. Take your time. I don't want it to look like a V, like a crooked wavy V. I want it to look like a, a stem. Okay, and then you're gonna draw your uh, little leaves, little like oval shapes that kind of come to a point at the stem, okay? And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle shape here in the sky. Mine's a little crooked, I'm drawing a little crooked just based on how my setup is for um, taking the videos, kind of working sideways here. But once you have that rectangle and you draw a 
line down the middle. You're going to go on the left side and you're going to draw a question mark. Some of the boxes in this video game have a question mark, some of them don't. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw three lines through this brick right here. We're gonna make it look like a brick, okay? Draw three lines down the middle. This is what you're gonna do. I'm going to draw a line here. And since I drew a line there, I'm gonna give it some space and draw another line here. That makes it look like there's three bricks to create a wall. This line is gonna be empty for now. I'm gonna draw the same exact lines that I did on this first one, on this third one, and they're going to look exactly the same. If they don't look the same, it's gonna look a little weird, okay? Now, in between this line here, this little brick on this second space, this empty space that we have, we're gonna draw a line. And same thing, in between these two lines, we're gonna draw a line. Same thing in between these two lines, we're gonna draw a line. And that makes it look like a brick wall. This uh, row right here that has these three lines is gonna look exactly the same on this fourth line. And that makes it look like a brick um, little wall, like a floating brick wall. Okay, next and uh, last two items that we're gonna draw before we start getting into our detail. I know we did a little detail here and here, but we're gonna get into a lot more detail in a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a W shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect W specifically because I don't want it to look like a perfect W. Um, we're gonna draw a little C. We're gonna draw an M shape. And then we're gonna draw a larger backward C. That's my first cloud. On that cloud, you're gonna draw these two little ovals. Once you draw those ovals, you can color it in. We'll probably color it in with markers or something like that later for the coloring portion of this um, assignment. Um, but that's your first cloud. Your second cloud is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do um, a very different shape. It's gonna be a little, um, little crazy. Okay, follow along with me. It's gonna be a little bit different. So it's, you know, these two little hook lines Big lowercase n. This just gives it a little bit more of cartoony look that um, makes it seem like nothing's the same. It doesn't want it, I don't want it to look the same as that other cloud there. Again, if you need to pause or rewind the video, that's completely fine. That's what we're here for, just to learn and practice. Okay, now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start doing some detail in these little hills or mountains um, and just give it a little bit different of a look. Okay, the top of this one, we're gonna make this look like um, it has like some type of different color grass or something. Um, and so what you're gonna do is just draw like these W shapes. If you just draw these two Ws. If, see, mine didn't finish, that's fine. I just draw a little curve line, make it look like it finished. It's like rounding that corner. On this one here, I'm gonna draw these circle oval shapes, long, tall, big oval, small one. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit just to uh, make it look like there's a lot of detail but not drawing a lot of detail. That's just a little trick. If you spread out your, your detail, um, it looks like you did a lot of work even though you did not, which is a little, little trick to make it seem like you did more. There's that. I think this is a little empty here, so I'm gonna draw a little circle right there. Okay, that's those two. We're done with those two. Now we have these three. This tall one, I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, reason being, this is a bigger shape than these. So if you draw some detail here, detail here, the biggest shape, you don't have to draw detail to, you could just leave it blank. And that's just, limits your time spent on drawing. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do something similar to this one, but I'm gonna do little circles, very, very similar and very um, evenly spread out. So it's very uniform, okay? But I'm going to make it look very perfect 
as perfect as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as nice and neat as possible. So it looks um, like it's supposed to be um, a pattern, a very specific pattern. Most times when I'm drawing and giving assignments, my um, my message is that we're not looking for perfection. This is one of those times where I'm looking for as close to perfect as possible. If you're trying to do it very um, nice and neat and um, evenly spread out as this, it has to look good. If it doesn't, it's gonna look bad. So an easy way to not get this messed up is to do something like this. This is a lot easier than this. So if you can't do this, try this. Okay, on here, we're just gonna do some basic lines. If you guys have been uh, in my class before in a different age group, and you guys have done this assignment, um, but a little simpler, they get a little bit more detailed as the age groups go up. Um, and um, some of you guys remember pretty much the same drawing, um, just a, le uh, a little less detail, only one brick, only one cloud, um, only three shapes, not four or five, um, a straight stem, not a curved stem, a little bit less detail. Okay, last thing, we're gonna go to the floor. We're gonna draw these W shapes. If you draw W shapes, it's gonna look very clean, very uniform, um, exactly how you want it to look, and that's gonna show the grass above the clay. And if you go quick, it's not gonna look as good, guys. Take your time. I'm gonna go quick because I've done this before, and it's still gonna look a little bit less um, crisp. But um, again, I'm not looking for perfection. I just want to have fun, enjoy myself, and learn. Um, so if it takes two to three times as long for you guys to do this process, I'd much rather you take that much time out and do that than to rush and not um, like the way that your grass came out. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna show you guys um, the original drawing. It's on a smaller sheet of paper um, that I did um, uh, over a year ago, but uh, I wanna show you guys how it came out. I haven't finished coloring it yet, um, but this is what it's going to look like. Once you finish your drawing, you're gonna outline it with a black marker. Once you outline it with a black marker, you're gonna be able to um, color it in as much as possible. I have not finished coloring it, but that is your assignment. So once you are done with your drawing, like I have finished, then you can go ahead and start your coloring. Remember, outline with a black marker um, beforehand and then you guys can get into your coloring so it looks a little bit more like this. Enjoy, have fun, and uh, see you next time.